This is grand finals between MMG Julio and MMG El Cubano Loco. Thank you so much for turning into Churning the Butter here, hosted by Showdown Esports at the Folsom Street Foundry here in San Francisco. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let's enjoy this grand finals. Hey, it's been a lot of great matches tonight. But uh, Julio with an early start, and again, see, this is what I was talking about. He was wow. roughly quarter screen away, and he did that DP again. It happened earlier. And he's starting out so dominant, and it could potentially be a straight 3-0 here. The unfortunate disadvantage that El Cubano Loco has right now is that he has to win two 3 out of 5 sets. The first one to send Julio to the losers, and the second one to eliminate him. You know, the, the most unfortunate thing about that fourth round, he's got no information. Just nothing. <laughs> That's very true. He got completely dominated. So he actually gave up a round without getting a lot of information about how he's going to approach if, the rest if of the he, set. If he could just block and lose, but spend roughly 40 to 50 seconds getting information, that could help him a lot. Yes. He didn't get anything. He just got hit by combos and then hit by combos. I still have faith. Right now, he didn't do the red focus. He actually did a normal focus cancel. That Probably was definitely an execution, yeah, error. execution error in that situation. And again, right now, he's just, yeah, demolished. I I do want El Cubano Loco to stay with Yang throughout this set. I if want him to he, do that, too. If he wants to commit to this pick to try to get a more evenish matchup, then he should stick to it. It doesn't look like he's going to. He's probably not now. At this point, I mean, like, um, the, last, the last set that he played, Yang got blown up after a great, terrific start to a first round. Um, in dropping combos and you know, I, this this might not be the best choice per se, but he's got to stick with his guts for now, just because he's he's not executing at at, at the level that he wants to. Yeah, and that he needs to too, because uh, MMG Julio, he's not going to slouch on you just because no, you're not, not playing all. your main character. This is definitely the pick that. Uh, is most likely to get a win for El Cubano Loco. He has been playing Vega against Julio for many years now, and he has beaten him in tournament in multiple occasions. And it has been 3-0 comebacks in some of those occasions. Yeah. And right now we're seeing a much stronger presence right now. I do encourage him to, to continue learning the Yang-Yun matchup. Yeah. Absolutely, I agree to that too. Um, you know, sometimes you got to invest in these local tournaments to yes. really establish yourself as a player and, and really becoming stronger. Great meter management from MMG Julio. He only just got the three bars with that combo. And notice the double dash corpse dash. carry. Yeah, the triple dash the corpse triple dash. carry into the corner. And another hit confirmed seals out the round. No, very smart stuff. Um, he guaranteed the corner by yes, doing that. Yes, And you see Yang do that, too. He has a lot of red focus dash, dash, dash combos to get amazing corner carry out of that use of meter. And Vega, again, with a nice start here. But uh, well, once Yun gets going against against Vega, I mean, it, it looks really difficult. It's, it's an uphill battle. It's a very uphill battle. Vega, his number one weakness, he can't anti her very well. No, not at all. And uh, Yun's main offense, or main strength, is that it's hard to anti her him. Yeah. He makes it that difficult for you with his neutral jumps, his dash, I mean, um, dive kick timings. Oh, it's a huge double whammy, and I love the, oh my god, the adaptation on that combo. He knew he was too close to the corner. El Cubano Loco could be working on a comeback right now, though. Not today. That's a sh just a strong read. Three three uh, dive kicks in a row, baited out the throw eventually. And um, none of those flash kicks. He has to block them high. He loses his down charge. He can't flash kick. Uh, you know. You know it's a dangerous thing to try and. Uh, um, s some people say you know you need to jump back roundhouse more, jump back fierce, right? Mm -hmm. Now think about it from this perspective. When you're already crouching, you already have your charge. You try to jump back roundhouse, you might get a flip kick by accident. Yes. Yes, that does happen because that jump back fierce, that jump back roundhouse, it needs to happen immediately off the ground. You might still have your down charge. You might get a flash kick instead. Exactly. So that might be an a reason as to why we're not seeing as much of that. Even though that is the answer, the fact that he already has his charge mm -hmm. is actually <laughs> it, it's a liability. <laughs> it, it is. It the is. strength becomes a liability. And that's just one of the main struggles of mid-tier characters. Oh, what a great overhead, putting Julio in a very dominant position. El Cubano Loco trying to get Julio to approach him. This is going to oh, be a comeback right here. what a great hit confirm. One, it, it is sudden death right now. <laughs> I thought he was going to go Did for flip. Did it chip? Yeah, it chipped. 
I thought he was going to go for a flip kick, or he pressed the button. We'll find out right now. He did chip. chip. I feel like he really should have gone. Yeah, you're right. The flip would have been a perfect choice. I, I thought he was. That's, that's exactly what I thought he was going to I mean, it's the number one way for Vega to bait out a reversal, but a great cosmic kill to punish the whip command grab from Julio. But it looks like that life lead is not going to last long. And this is actually tournament point right now. This is an extremely fast final stun. set. And here's the stun. Is MMG Julio going to take this set? Oh, it is amazing! No. Five kick set up and he gets the hit confirmed. MMG Julio takes it with a 3-0. He is your Churning the Butter number three Grand Finals champion.